In the 1950s, the Gros Michel banana, the world's most popular banana variety, met an unfortunate fate. Known for its sweet taste and thick skin, it dominated global markets, but a deadly fungal disease, the Panama disease, began wiping out Gros Michel plantations worldwide, leaving farmers and scientists powerless. Unlike today's Cavendish banana, which replaced it, the Gros Michel was not resistant to this soil-borne fungus, leading to its near extinction. Today, the Gros Michel remains a rare and nostalgic fruit. Have you ever looked at a banana and thought, we're not so different, you and I? Well, guess what? Science says you're onto something. As strange as it sounds, bananas and humans share about 60% of the same genes. That means we're genetically more similar to this fruit than we might think. But what does this actually mean? Today, we're peeling back the science to understand why we share so much DNA with bananas, what that says about our place in the natural world, and how genetics connect us in surprising ways. So grab a banana, get comfy, and let's dive into this fascinating slice of science. Okay, let's start with the basics. Saying that humans share 60% of their DNA with bananas sounds crazy, right? But here's the deal. DNA is the building block of all living things. It's like nature's code for making everything from humans to, well, bananas. But here's the twist. Just because we share some genes with bananas doesn't mean we're turning yellow anytime soon. DNA is made up of sequences of nucleotides, which are like individual letters that form the genetic alphabet. These sequences are found in every living organism, and in many cases, they control similar functions across species. So, it turns out that a good chunk of the DNA we share with bananas is responsible for the basic functions of life. Think cell growth, cell division, and energy production. Now, you might be thinking, 60% is a pretty big number. What gives? Shouldn't I be sprouting a peel or something? Well, no, humans and bananas have a lot of the same fundamental genes because at a really basic level, we all evolved from the same ancient single-celled organisms. This is where things get weird. At the very start of life on Earth, billions of years ago, there were these super simple, single-celled organisms. These little guys gave rise to both plants and animals. Over the next few billion years, we went one way on the evolutionary tree, and bananas went another. We became humans. They became, well, delicious snacks. So even though we took wildly different paths, we still hold on to some of those ancient genes that make us more similar than you'd think. Okay, so what exactly do we share with bananas? Here are some of the similarities. Cell structure. Both humans and bananas are made up of cells that have membranes, nuclei, and mitochondria. Mitochondria, in case you forgot from high school biology, are the powerhouse of the cell. They produce energy for both you and your fruity cousin. Protein synthesis. We both produce proteins in pretty similar ways. In fact, a lot of the processes that go into building proteins, like transcription and translation of DNA, are nearly identical between humans and bananas. So, yes, the same biological machinery that's running in you is also running in the banana on your kitchen counter. Cell division. You know that thing your body does to grow, heal, and keep you alive? Yeah, bananas do that too, in pretty much the same way. They may not be making complex organs, but the core process is quite alike. So, is it starting to make sense? Or does it still sound like bananas? While 60% sounds like a lot, it's kind of a perspective trick. When we look at DNA, it's important to remember that a huge portion of it is used for very basic life processes. If you look at two humans, we share 99.9% .9 of our DNA with each other. But then you look at something as different as a banana and we still share 60%. That's because all life on Earth is based on the same building blocks. For example, we share 98% of our DNA with chimpanzees, no surprise there, but we also share 85% with a mouse and even 40% with a fruit fly. And bananas, 60%. It shows how deeply connected all living things are, from the tiniest microbes to the largest animals, and even to our tasty yellow friends here. We all started from the same place, and evolution just took us in different directions. So, next time you peel a banana, just remember, you're holding something that shares a bit of its genetic makeup with you. It's like eating a distant, distant cousin. But you know, without all the awkward family dinners, 
So there you have it, the 60% banana-human connection explained. It turns out, we've got more in common with our fruit bowl than we ever thought. Next time you bite into a banana, give it a little nod of recognition. After all, we're practically family. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share it with your fellow banana-loving friends, and leave a comment below if you learned something new, or if you've got your own wild food facts to share. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.